giant television proudly presents Fee Fi Fo Yum. Busy, busy. Studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Alas. Welcome to Family Fun for You with me, Les Dennis. Where are you? You're what are you doing? You can't grab me. I'm a gangster. Next, you munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can't eat it! I can! Watch me! Fella. I ain't that giant! No! It's Fee Fi Fo Yum! And today's contestants, all the way from Ipswich, it's the Giant Breakfast. And they'll be playing against the victorious Vikings, who come from London. Here's a taste of the thrills and spills to stand between them and their freedom! Oh, and now, here he is, every giant's favourite host, it's oh, dead, howling there, howling there! Yum, the show where the team that's not the winner will be Brian's yeah. That's right, it could be any of you lot. So, what a rip room <laughs> show we have. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Des. I'm full of cold. Well, put your hand over your mouth, will ya? We don't want your rotten giant germs. <laughs> oh. Right then, oh, let's get on and meet the teams. First of all, we meet the Giant Crushers! <laughs> Introduce us to the Giant Crushers. On my team, I have Bailey. Hiya, Les. Hiya, Bailey. Jack. Hiya, Liz. Hiya, Jack. May. Hiya, Les. Hiya, May. And Jez. And Jez. Hiya, Les. Hiya, Jez. She nearly forgot you there on the end. <laughs> so, you call yourself the Giant Crushers. Why is that? Because we're here today to crush the Giant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you better watch out, because he wants to crush one of this team. It could be you. All right, that's the Giant Crushers. Let's go over and meet the victorious Vikings. <laughs> Melissa. Hi, Les. How are you doing? I'm fine. Introduce us to your team. This is Zainab. Hi, Les. Hi, Zainab. This is Daniel. Hi, Les. Hi, Daniel. This is Harveen. Hi, Les. Hi, Harveen. And at the end is Shannon. Hi, Les. Hi, Shannon. And you call yourself the victorious Vikings. Why is that? Because we're clever. Yeah. And strong. Yeah. We're um, victorious. You're victorious. And we fight, fight for, for freedom. freedom. Fight for freedom. OK, <laughs> that's the team. <laughs> Right, teams, this is how we play Fee Fi Fo Yum. You will compete in a series of games in order to win time. The more time you earn, the better chance you have of winning the greatest game at the end of the show. Is that clear, teams? Yes! Good, in that case, let's get on and play round one. Now, when Brian's watching Fee Fi Fo Yum, he loves to have a cup of tea. But no ordinary brew, teams. He likes it really sweet. Hey, Brian, I suppose, really, you should be having a bit of honey and lemon rather than tea, shouldn't you? Already on it, Jez. <laughs> Lovely. So, your job in this game, teams, is to feed Brian the sweetest cup of tea you possibly can. Um. Using the teaspoons that Brian has provided, you will catapult sugar lumps into your teacups. The team that makes him the sweetest cup of tea will win the first five-second lifeline, but more importantly, that brew will take his mind off eating you for a while. So, Brian, who's going to play? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think you should have a go. Jack and Anna. I could dunk you in a cup of tea. And I want Harvey and Daniel. I'm watching you. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play. Keep me sweet. You have until snotty Brian's egg timer runs out to keep him sweet. Good luck, Brian. Over to you. Three, two, one. <laughs> and you're up. Remember, the sweeter the brew, the better for you. It needs to go into the cup. On the... Oh, there's one in. Nice one. Bouncing off the edge and onto the plate. Won't count. Looks like it's one all. You're getting the hang of it. <laughs> if you get a sugar lump into your opponent's teacup, it's for them. It's their score. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
Only 30 That's seconds left. The giant crushers are going for it. Ooh, in and out. Won't count because it's come out. 20 seconds. There's sugar lumps all over the table. We need more in the cups. Ten, nine, Ryan wants eight, that sweet cup seven, of tea. Six, he wants his spoon five, to stand four, up in it. Three, two, one. And that's it. Time's up, as Brian said. So, players, rejoin your teams. Let's see how you did. Giant Crushers, you got three sugar cubes in your cup. Ooh, you're good at And it. Victorious Vikings, you got two. So that means the first five second life land, they're already cheering, goes to the Giant Crushers. But it's still worth the play for. We're going to take a break. Join us after this. <laughs> Does your washing powder get your laundry disappointingly clean? Does it gleam and smell of summer meadows? It's time to switch to Grimo. Grimo! Sweaty stains? No problem. Gravy slops? Sorted. Mud and mucus? Guaranteed. In fact, Grimo will refresh your laundry with nearly 20 different smells and stains. I didn't think it were possible. Oh. Go on, take a sniff. You know you want to. Oh, it's all I ever wanted. Thank you, Grimo. Grimo! <sighs> Welcome back to P5 Bodium, where the giant crushers have a five second advantage over the victorious Vikings, but there's still plenty of time up for grabs, and what does time mean? Freedom! Yeah, the more time you earn, the more chance you have to escape at the end of the show. Now we come to Brian's favourite part, though. Brian, maybe we shouldn't do it today, you know, with, with germs and, and, and all that. Oh, it's all right, Des. I'll wash my hands especially. <laughs> oh. Oh. Charming, absolutely uh. charming. Go on, then, introduce it. It's Desi's Tasty Challenge. <coughs> You've got my name wrong again. You know my name, don't you, teams? Yes! yes! See? Yes, Les. It's Les, OK? Sorry, Des. Get off! Desi's Tasty Challenge. Do you know what, May? He really is a great big snotty beast. I am what? Uh, uh, <laughs> Brian, I was just talking to May and saying I've been doing some baking and using some, um, um... Yeast? Yeast! Yeast! Yes! Yeast! You need to get out more, Des. Yes! Well, I would get out more, wouldn't I, Brian? If you let me escape, then I would get out a lot, wouldn't I? Oh, look at me, I'm Des Lettuce and I'm trapped. And I like baking fairy cakes. I hate that giant! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> on to Les's tasty challenge. So, under this dish, teams, is some food that Brian has put here. I have no idea what it is. He <laughs> makes me eat it, and then you to guess how much of it I can eat in 30 seconds. Is that clear, teams? Yes, Les! All right, let's reveal the meal. <sighs> what is it? It's squid. Yum. Or squids. Oh. So you've got to guess how many of these squids I can eat in 30 seconds. Write it down on your cards. Don't let your other team see it. Right, squids. Brian, are you kidding me? Are you, are you having a laugh? <laughs> Not even a lemon to make it appetising. You've got eight. OK, teams, you should have come up with your answers, but keep them to yourself. Brian, may I have my light, please? I have 30 seconds to eat as many of these as I can. So, starting now. Oh, oh. <laughs> 20 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
<laughs> Time's up. <laughs> Jez, you've started, so you're finished. Oh, God. I don't mind it when it's in batter, you know, a bit of calamari, but like that, without any lemon or anything, it was horrible. Yeah. So how many did you guess? What about you, Giant Crushers? Um, twelve. Hmm. Twelve mouthfuls. Victorious Vikings, what did you put? Seven. Seven. Oh. So, no wonder you were shouting for me to eat more. Brian, <laughs> how many squiddies did I eat in 30 <coughs> seconds? <coughs> I can confirm you have eaten four pieces of squid. So, that means the Victorious Vikings, you are nearest with seven. You get a five-second nice. lifeline. Well done. <laughs> Neck and neck as we go into a break. Join us when one of our team of humanities will be ending up in Brian's tum. We'll see you then. I feel ill. Me too, Des. Oh. <laughs> Feeling tired and in need of a boost? Then you need some Go Go Giant. Go-Go Giant! Don't live in slow-mo. Have some Go-Go. <laughs> hey there, Smelt Face. Looks like you need a new box of tissues. No money? No problem. Get your hands on a box of as good as new tissues. Open one up and who knows what you'll find inside. Go on, have a blow. You'll soon get used to the feel of them. And here's the best part. As good as new tissues are half the price. We cannot guarantee that the product will be clean or there won't be living creatures inside. As good as new products are not actually as good as new products. It's just a catchy name. Hold the fort, Des. <laughs> I'm just dipping out for some good as new tissues. Back in a sec. We've got a game on here because the Giant Crushers have a five-second lifeline and the victorious Vikings have a five-second lifeline. <laughs> to play for, though, as we play our next game. Now, up there in giant land, Brian gets really, really lonely. Oh, oh say oh for him, teams. Aww. So what he likes to do to keep himself company is he likes to make little spuddy buddies. <laughs> what can I say? He's got a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> so, Brian, who's your spuddy buddy today? Brian? Sorry, Des. Where are we up to? Uh, I was just asking you, who's your spuddy buddy? We wanted to know. Oh. <coughs> Here he is, Des. <laughs> He's called <coughs> Bob. That does surprise me. <laughs> Say hello to Bob. Hello! Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> oh, looks like Bob's got a cold as well. Right, all of Bob's bits are in the blamange. Your job in this game is to recreate Bob. The team that does it best and first will be the one that wins the five-second lifeline. OK, Brian, who's going into the bowl? I like the look of... Jess. And I'll have... Shannon. You look delicious. And who do you want to make Bob? Hmm. I'm gonna go with May and Bailey. I think you should play this one. And hmm, Melissa and Zayda. Hmm, you look appetizing. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play. Chip off the old block. Jez and Shannon, you're going into the blancmange. You're getting out the bits, passing them to May and Melissa, who will pass them on to Bailey and to Zainab, who will make the bobs. OK, good luck. Goggles on. Three, two, one, dive. And uh, into the blancmange. Jez is already getting a couple of eyes out. Shannon's looking for... I don't know what she's looking for. She's deep into the blancmange. It looks as if we've got eyes and a hat for the giant crushers. It's so hard to find these bits inside this blancmange. Kind of neck and neck. Well, it's not neck and neck, it's eye and eye. And it's nose and nose, and it's ear and ear. Question. Question, Bob. Giant crushers are very close. 
So the Vikings need to catch up. Hurry up. Bob's slutty nose is on. There goes one arm over on the giant crusher's side. There's an arm coming over here to the crushers. This could be yes, the final piece. Giant crushers. Giant crushers reckon they've done it. Brian, is that your identical twin of Bob? Yeah! Absolutely! Giant crushers, despite a wonky ear, you get your five-second lifeline. Well done! Victorious Vikings, you were short of an eye and an arm, so no seconds for you. We're going to take a break. Teams, watch the ads really carefully because I'll be quizzing you on them when we come back. And you lot can play along at home too. Not that your life depends on it. <laughs> they can move there. <laughs> if sensitive teeth are making your life a misery, you need the all new and improved. Simply hold the mallet away from your body. A little further, a little more. And now apply firmly to the body. The Medi Mallet won't cure your sensitive teeth, but it'll sure take your mind off it. Medi Mallet. If symptoms persist, don't blame us. Are you a messy eater? Fed up with your food getting stuck in your beard? Well, help is at hand in the shape of the Waste Not Want Not Beard Back. Its super suck action will have your beard free of crumbs in next to no time. Buy today and you'll receive this handy beard vac food tray absolutely free. Hey, waste not, want not. Warning, the waste not, want not beard vac should not be used near animals. So, say goodbye to that food filled face and hello to the waste not, want not beard vac. Limited one time offer, 87 grunts. Welcome back to P5 Bo Yum, where the Bob's watching the ads. More importantly, where you watching the ads, because I'm about to quiz you on them. Any correct answer will get a two-second lifeline. Currently, the Giant Crushers, you have a ten-second lifeline. <laughs> Victorious Vikings, you're trailing with a five-second lifeline. <laughs> and there's a possible ten seconds up for grabs as we play... Ad Analysis. Fingers on buzzers, here's your starter for two. In the Medi <laughs> sensitive teeth ad, what was the giant eating? Giant crushers. Ice giant crushers? Ice, ice lolly. lolly. Ice lolly. Was it an ice lolly? Let's have a look. Yes, it was. Well done. <laughs> two seconds to you. <laughs> Question two. Complete this sentence. The Medi Mallet won't cure your sensitive teeth, but... Giant crushes. Giant crushes? It will take your mind off it. It will take your mind off it. Let's see if you're right. The Medi Mallet won't cure your sensitive teeth, but it'll sure take your mind off it. Yeah. Yes, no! And you may have a two-second lifeline. I knew that one. If you bought a Waste Not Want Not Beard Vac, what free gift would you receive? Giant crushes. Giant crushes are in again. A uh, collection plate. It's close, but it's not quite mm. what we're looking for, so I'm going to hand it over to the Vikings. If you bought a Waste Not Want Not Beard Vac, what free gift would you receive? Um, a free collection plate. <laughs> collection plate, I think that's what they said, was it? Oh. Let's have a look. Buy today and you'll receive this handy beard bag food tray absolutely free. It was a tray we were looking for, a beard vac oh, food oh, tray. So, well, you man, Question four. What colour was the Giants' cat? Victorious Vikings. The Vikings are in. Um, ginger. Was it a ginger cat? <laughs> yes, it was. Well, yes. Yeah, oh, that was an easy one. Last question in this round. How many grots does a beard Giant vac crushes. cost? 87. 87. Let's see if you're right. It is 87! Well done! So, at the end of ad analysis, you got three right, which gives well you six done. seconds. Well done! You got one right, which gives you a two-second lifeline. How will that affect your overall lifelines? Let's find out. After a word from everybody's favourite flexible giant, Jim Elastic. 
Thanks, Les. On today's Get Up and Go Go, I'm having a right royal workout at Buckingham Palace. So come on, Giants, join me, Jim Elastic, after Fee Fi Fo Yum here on GTV. Come on, Your Majesty. Woo! Wakey, wakey. Come on. Here we go. And up and a down. What a waste of grots. I've been come. Steady on, Brian. Things are getting serious down here. Okay, teams, you have to decide who's going to take on the great escape. This is really serious now, folks. Remember, one of our teams will be eaten by Brian at the end of the show. So whoever steps up to the mark will have the fate of their teammates in their hands. What a pressure. Are you up to it? Do you think you could? Yeah, you can do it. OK, teams, you should have come up with your decisions by now. So, Giant Crushers, who's playing for you and why? Jack. Jack, and why's that? Because he's our strongest player and he's going to help fight for our... Freedom! <laughs> oh, OK, you up to that, Jack? Oh, I'm up for that. We're escaping. OK, Victorious Vikings, what about you? Who's playing for you and why? We think Harveen should play for us. And why's that? Because he's strong and he's very good at puzzles and he will help us with our freedom. Will you, Harveen? Yeah, it's because they have no chance against us. So what are you fighting for? Freedom! So, Jack and Harveen, it's time for... Great Escape. This is it, Jack and Harveen. Brian has trapped your teammates in the scales of justice <laughs> and their future hangs literally in the balance. It's down to you two to release them, but standing between you and them is the great escape. First, you must tackle the donut dash. Then, it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. Watch out for those meatballs. Once through there, you will take on the rolling pin run, but watch out, watch out. Brian's got those tea bags out. Then you must complete the chop bar challenge to build a walkway to Brian's big bowl, and then it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player that gets to the top first must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates escape down the freedom chute. You don't need me to tell you that the team that's not the winner will be Brian's winner. Giant Crushers, you have a 16-second lifeline. That's amazing. <laughs> Victorious Vikings, you have a seven-second lifeline. Well, so that means, Jack, you have a nine-second lead. How do you feel about that? I uh, feel more confident now. You're feeling confident? OK. Harveen, do you reckon you can catch up? Yeah, I can. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Jack, you will go on Brian's first whistle. Harveen, you will go on Brian's second whistle. All right, Brian, over to you. <laughs> and Jack's off. He's into the donut dash. There he is. He's through the donut dash. And there you are, Harveen. You're just behind. Can you dash and catch up? Jack is getting stuck in the meatballs, but he's through. Harveen is just behind, I think. And Jack's onto the rolling pin run. He's done always off the rope. Oh, we all beat it, huh? Harveen's taking it very cautiously, and he's off. Jack's there on the rolling pin run, trying to get across. He's across. The rolling pin run, Harveen is still struggling with that. Jack's on to the chop bar challenge. It's half finished, it looks like. Harveen is off the rolling pin again. Brian is particularly brutal with those tea bags today. Oh, Harveen, you're off again. Back to the start. Take your time. Jack is about to complete the chop bar challenge. Yes, he's completed the chop bar challenge. He's up and he's into that big bowl. Be careful in that blue <laughs> Victorious, you've got to make it across the rolling pin. <laughs> You're nearly there. He's there, he's across. Well done, you're across. 
and you're on to the chop bar challenge, you could still catch up. Take off to the sides! Stay right there! If he does, you'll have the advantage of getting into that slippery slope and not being as wet as Jack. Jack is still... He's got the last leg, but he's still having trouble with it. A little last piece of chocolate for Harveen, and then he'll be into the big bowl, and he'll be in exactly the same position as Jack. So here he comes. He's getting in. He's going in cautiously. That's a good way to do it. Come on, Harveen! Come on, Harveen! Jack, Jack, Jack! certainly is now, if he wasn't dead. Maybe Ryan sneezing has got something to do with it. I don't even want to think about that. Oh, and Harveen's back in again. Now it's absolutely neck and neck. Right, stop, stop. You all had long enough. I'm going to eat all of you. OK, Brian, you're the boss. Sorry, guys, Brian says you've had long enough. You're going to be part of Brian's banquet. So you know what that means? Neither of you are the winner. You're all going to be Brian's... Dinner! Yeah! They do say feed a cold. Over I'll to you, you, Brian. There! <laughs> Sorry, teams, but rules are rules. Brian's going to enjoy his two for one, and you can't say fee fi fairer than that. Delicious. Come. Help! Don't eat me, please. And luck. I'm going to enjoy you. That's it from an extraordinary fee fi fo yum. Mm. Brian's tucking into that big Blumungi banquet, but he won't uh, keep him happy for long. Oh. Join us next time when two Lovely. more teams of few munchies will fight for their freedom and hope to stay out of Brian's tum. See you then. Say goodbye, Brian. Uh oh. <laughs> Bless you. It's official, guys. The weekend is here, and we're kicking it off in style over on the CBBC channel. Starting right now, there's more hilarious nonsense in comedy show, Sorry I've Got No Head. And right after that, get your fix of what's cool for the week ahead with Friday Download. So grab your remote and get amongst it over on the CBBC channel. Every weekend on CBBC. Can you say R for me? R. Let the celebrations begin. <laughs> Weekends on CBBC, you know where it's at. The battle lines have been drawn. The strategies devised. Phase one was perfect. He's been one step ahead the whole time. And the date set. We have to stop him. Let's go. Leonardo, the thrilling conclusion. Monday at 5.15 on the CBBC channel. Bring it on.